Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a super, super exciting day. So yesterday, I asked you guys what you think we should do with the wheels on the E92. A lot of people said factory wheels, the factory competition package wheels, powder coated black. I think it's gonna look sick. Not sure if we're gonna keep these wheels on the car forever. Eventually, I probably will add some spacers, not sure when. Maybe tomorrow, if we can get some in time. But that is what we're gonna be working on today. So let's pop the wheels off the car. They're gonna go probably like ink black from Prismatic Powders. Best, the best, the best, best black I've ever used. Super, super high gloss, looks really like deep and shiny and just beautiful. So that's what we're gonna be running again today on the E92. Here's how she looks before, like, if you haven't seen the channel. So we went, pulled the tires off, brought the wheels out to Limitless Coatings. He has a powder coat stripper because I believe the factory wheels are powder coated. Had them stripped, now we're back at the shop. Time to get them completely, completely stripped, sandblasted, and then we can move on to powder coating. That's what it looks like right when it comes out of the chemical stripper. There's still a lot of like gunk on there. And then that is after you kind of clean it up, bake it in the oven, try to burn a lot of that off. Here's the process as of right now. Throw the wheel in the oven for about an hour, burn a bunch of that crap off, pull it out, let it cool down, sandblast it, get all four done, spray them out with the ink black, which I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope we have here. If not, we have other shades of black that will work, but ink black is definitely my favorite. So we have all of the wheels sandblasted. We have one up on our little stand that we're gonna powder coat on. The other three are down here. So this is everything that we need to get these things powder coated. This here is the powder, linked down in the description box below. You guys will see how beautiful that is here in a minute. We actually have two little tiny, like just leftover bags of that. Definitely need to get some more of that ordered up. And then this is the red line powder coat gun that we'll be using. When we first started using this gun, it wasn't really working like it should have but now I think we got it all situated. If you guys wanna pick one of these guns up as well, I will link that down in the description box below as well. Let's get this whole system set up and slop down some powder on one of these wheels.
Hey, do you guys sell replacement oven elements? Okay, so we ran into a little bit of a problem. I've been, I've known that this was a problem forever now, but I had never really fixed it. So one of the elements in the ovens burned out. This powder goes 400 degrees at 12 minutes part metal temperature. The wheel's already been in there for like 12 minutes and it's not heated up. It's only heated up on the bottom because the element on the top is burnt out. It's actually out of the oven. So we're running into a bit of an issue. I don't want to completely bake these out with only one element in the oven because the powder on the face of the wheel probably isn't gonna cure all the way and it won't be strong like it should. So like I said, 400 degrees, 12 minutes, part metal temperature. So as soon as the wheel itself reaches that 400 degree point, then you start the timer. Then you start the timer for 12 minutes. As of right now, the, the top of the wheels like at 200 degrees though. So let's run down, see if they have an element. If not, we're kind of screwed because it's Sunday and that's the only place open that I could find. So the homeboy down at the appliance store checked this one. He tested this one. This one is actually good. So we don't have a problem with the element itself. Some in the oven's messed up. I don't know if we can fix this today. I really don't care to fix it, but I really don't feel like going and buying a new oven right now. So I'm gonna try to fix it. If I can't, we're gonna just like put this project off for another day and gonna have to go buy a new oven. Let's see what we can figure out. So I put the element back in the oven and it's working fine. So I don't know what I was doing wrong earlier, but it's clearly working now. So I think we should be good to go, guys. All right, I believe we're all good to go. The element is currently smoking. So it's obviously hot and burning everything off. So I'm gonna let that burn out for a while. We can, I don't know if we just need to completely strip and redo that wheel. It flowed out, but I don't know. I guess I'll put it back in there, bake it more, and hopefully it uh, doesn't start chipping and failing, the powder coat failing in the future. But I guess we'll see. It was actually in there for a total of 40 minutes, which I know is completely wrong, not the right way to do it. But driving all the way out to limitless coatings is just gonna take a ton of time. And that would mean we would be able to get the wheels and tires back on the car today. So I don't wanna do that. We're having an issue that I don't think I've ever ran into before while powder coating, and we're getting some fish eyes. It's not like insanely, insanely bad, but basically it's like a little pinhole in the powder coat, like pretty much a fish eye. Like you can experience it in painting. And usually what that is caused from is some sort of oil or residue left on the part. We are definitely kind of, I feel like we're rushing this process today. Usually what I would do is bake them in the oven for 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes before, and then pull them out, let them cool down, and then spray the powder. But because the tire shop closes at 2 p.m. today, we are in a rush, it's already 1 p.m. So what I noticed is helping that issue is powder coat the wheel, put it in for the whole 12 minutes, get it completely baked out, pull it out while it's still hot, do a quick, light, hot coat, and it'll kind of fill in all those pinholes. It's definitely not ideal and it sucks that we're having to do that, but I don't want this car to be down for another two or three days while we strip, re-strip all the powder coat off and re-powder coat them. They're like a nine and a half out of 10. There's a few little tiny imperfections, but honestly, like when they're on the car fully mounted, I don't think I'll ever notice it. It sucks, it is what it is, but I guess the lesson for me is uh, take your time, do all the prep work properly, bake them out first. I am wiping them down with reducer just to try and get all of the oil off, but this should still be pre-baked before powder coating.
As you guys can see, it's not insanely, insanely bad. I'm not even sure if you can notice it in the camera, but it's not perfect and that makes me kind of disappointed. One wheel left in the oven right now, let that thing cool down, we can take off, or probably not even let it cool down, throw it in the back of the truck, head to the tire shop, and get the tires mounted up on the car. There was one bad TPMS sensor on the car, that's why that TPMS light was on, so we're gonna get that swapped out at the same time, and that should take care of all of our TPMS issues. We will still have our check engine light, but it's a BMW, it's probably always gonna be on. All right, we just pulled the last one out of the oven, got it in the back of the truck, let's head out to the tire shop. Hopefully they can get these things mounted today. That'd be sick. So we went to the tire shop and they ended up being closed today. It is Sunday, but according to Google, they were open and they weren't. So we're gonna come to the shop bright and early tomorrow, get these bad boys mounted up, get them back on the car. Probably ceramic coat them first. And then, yeah. See how good she looks. She look pretty good. We are taking the Evo 10 home tonight, so hopefully she doesn't burn down tonight. Well, Jared's here, so it might burn down. Might burn. <laughs> yeah, I need to go quick. <laughs> finally found a tire shop to mount these bad boys up today. Good old tire clinic in Deer Park never fails. Huh. A lot of running around, but we finally got it situated, so these things look absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna set one up on the car real quick, one of the rears, and see how beautiful she looks. This thing's gonna look so freaking good, guys. Let's get, do a little back shot. Damn. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna get all the wheels in the shop, get them cleaned up, Wipe down with IPA, do a quick ceramic coat. By the way, Avalon King is having this huge sale on ceramic coat, I believe for Black Friday. Let me pull up the email. Pretty sure it's starting this Thursday, so like two days, three days, they're having a huge sale. From Thursday to Monday, up to 50% off Armor Shield 9. So I'm gonna have Armor Shield link down below. I would highly not recommend buying it right now. Wait a few days, take advantage of this crazy, crazy sale. Don't use my code. I'm not sure if they're gonna have a discount code or not for this ceramic coat sale. I'll definitely update you guys in a few days, but stay tuned for that. Let's get these things cleaned up, get them ceramic coated, get them on the car, see how good this thing looks. We just finished up ceramic coating all the wheels. It takes definitely less than one kit to do just some wheels. But if you're gonna do a whole car, plus wheels, plus like windows, plus like headlights, taillights, all that stuff, I would definitely recommend two kits. And the whole reason, the only reason that we ceramic coat wheels is primarily for brake dust. Brake dust is such a bitch to clean sometimes, or all the time, and having them ceramic coated and a fresh coat of ceramic coat on the wheels allows the brake dust to just press wash off and sitting, instead of sitting there just scrubbing for like hours on end on each wheel. Especially with a wheel like this, very, very complex design, a lot of spokes, a lot of angles, a lot of tight areas, cracks and crevices. It's gonna help a lot. 
Remember on the Evo 8, we got the TEs on here and we left one wheel un ceramic coated, so just bare. Let me show you guys a little difference. You can grab some water. Those boys need to be ceramic coated. That's nasty. All right, this is clearly a ceramic coated wheel. You see how everything beads up? Everything literally just washes right off. Like, no scrubbing required. Check this out. <laughs> That's so sick. All right, let's go find a non ceramic coated wheel. I believe it's this front. See how the water just kind of like puddles up and sits there? Doesn't really do anything. All the brake dust just stays on the wheel. And of course we got this wrap ceramic coated as well. So that's what happens with some good ceramic coat. As always, we're gonna wait probably two days before we get any sort of liquids, water on these new wheels. And because it's snowing, that means we can't drive the car for a few days, but it's okay. We do have some fun things planned for this car within the next couple days, so it'll be in the shop anyway. Let's go ahead and get these wheels on the car. Shut up, stop talking, get this thing on the ground, see how dope she looks. This thing looks so damn good. The black wheels with all the carbon fiber we have on here, and of course the carbon roof, tinted windows, maybe get some windshield tint on her. This thing's gonna be looking absolutely insane. This whole plan, I guess the, the from the get-go, the plan with this car was kind of do like an OEM plus type of look. Still make it like super fun to drive, not slam to where we're like scraping and rubbing and destroying quarter panels and fenders and lips and stuff. I mean, it's pretty low, but it's not like the Evo 10 or the Evo 8 where it's like almost too low. It still looks good. It does need some height adjustment. I do agree. I do see your guys' comments. Face down, ass up. Yeah, I know. She'll, she'll get fixed here soon. The only thing I think she really, really needs right now is obviously like a severe cut and buff and polish and all that stuff. Cause like, look at the hood. We kind of sanded on it a little bit. But not only that, she ain't flush at all. So I think some nice spacers on the factory wheels, especially now that they're black, get them, get them a little bit more flush. It'd really, really add to the look of this car. Now, this angle right here is definitely one of my favorites. I do think it needs a little bit of headlight love. Not sure what we're gonna do there. If you have any suggestions, drop a comment down below. I do wanna build some crazy headlights for it. Of course, when the carbon skirts come in, that's gonna be a huge game changer as well. But in the meantime, I think all those little tiny mods that we did in the last week or so along with the black wheels really tied the scene together i really wish we could pull this thing outside right now but it's dumping snow and rain and all that nasty stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think of the new wheels big shout out to prismatic powders for supplying the ink black powder absolutely beautiful color as you guys can see like a super super deep gloss black i'll have that link down below as well and then what else ceramic coat stay tuned on that i'll get you guys like some more info some more details on that Unless you're in a hurry, order it now. Devin25 will save you $25 off, but if you want to save a big chunk of money, wait a few days and I'll get you guys a good deal. Really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hold up, guys. I almost forgot. We did get some stuff in the PO box and it's always super fun to open it up on camera and show you guys what we got. Big shout out to anyone who ever sends anything over. Bobby and I appreciate it a lot. From Jonathan Henkel in Pennsylvania. I hope this is still in good shape. It does look like it got torn open. So I don't know what this is, but let's hope it's, you know, good to go. It feels heavy. It's like Christmas right now, early Christmas. 
coffee mug, protein shaker. No way. What? Check this out, guys. I am literally gonna use this till the day I die. I don't know how you did this. It's a coffee mug. This is, this is sick. Coffee mug, black camo on one side, snow camo on the other, red for the red wheels, blue for the blue wheels. Live with passion on the side, on this side as well, and then on the bottom, she built. This is sick, wow. We wanted to show some support by making something. <laughs> uh, this note cracks me up. Really, really appreciate it, Jonathan, Abby, and Aria. Little PS at the end, if Jared needs to use a can, this product is not flammable <laughs> and is suitable for all ages. Guys, thank you so much, that means the world to me. This is definitely one of the coolest products, or coolest anything that we've got. Some of the stuff that you guys make is wild. Like, I don't even know how you do this. Hoss, where are you? You wanna see the coolest thing ever? Yes. Holy crap. What the frick? Who did this? This is so cool, can I have it? No. I wanna do my lotuses in it. That's mine.